This is, by far and away, one of the slowest cars in BeamNG, and not just because of its really pathetic engine, but also because there's some, uh, outstanding issues with a vehicle quite like this. <sighs> but if there's one thing that I get requested for the most, well, that would be to modify this bad boy. But you know, it's just, it's a little bit silly and goofy. And it's like really slow. Now I could give this thing lots of power, but that's a little too simple. And I don't think power is really its biggest issue. So I gotta modify it in a way which isn't going to affect its power or speed, just something like itself. Ah, uh, but what do I do? I, there's nothing I can particularly think of. Maybe swapping on parts from another vehicle? I mean, I've done lots of engine swaps before, but we don't want to add power, so what should I start looking for? Let's try to find, per se, a donor vehicle for swapping something in. Something nice and slow. I could do this, but that's not really sort of a utilitarian vehicle. That's more of an off-roader sort of vehicle. This one's going a little bit extreme. I don't think I could even do that. Wait, hold on. This. Mmm. Could you just imagine it now? This body shrunk down to be on the little pigeon? Interesting. And here's another little bit of a treat. If we have a look here at this vehicle, we have working doors. But the T-Series? No such luck. This thing has not been up updated yet to be up with the latest things. So all of you that want the updated T-Series? Don't worry, I've got ya. In this mod, specifically 100%, it's gonna be perfect. So let's call this something like the T-Pigeon, create the necessary folders, and inside of the semi area, we're going to grab the semi DAE, and ooh, we have a few other things in here as well that we wanna look at. So let's grab all of those. I don't think we're gonna grab all of this. I think we'll keep pretty much everything standard on the backside. God, there's a lot of things on this vehicle, isn't there? For a size comparison, we're gonna grab just the body part and plop you in here. Then we're gonna select everything that is not, uh, like basically a moving prop, then grab all of this, compare it to the 3D cursor and shrink it all down. One thing I am noticing though, is if I get this to fit the right size, the wheels are like way too small and the cabin is very far forward. So oh, this is, uh, how, how do I scale this? Do I scale this to the body or do I scale it to the wheel? I wonder if I just scale it like this, if it'll, oh, Ooh, they do get it pretty close to fitting. Then all we need to do is apply only scale. We don't want to apply position because that'll move these little orange dots, which are where they rotate from. We have our version here that's gonna be the T-Series, and we're gonna replace that to start with. And on our slightly improved pigeon, we're gonna go ahead and, no, that's the wrong one, Let me, give me a second, here's the body. We have our truck already set up and ready to go, and would you look at that, it worked first, first go. You know, it's actually not that far off. Let's start looking for the bonnet. So we got pigeon, beacon, bed, bed box, bed, cover bin of course it's hood because for some reason this is a an american game how could i ever forget that everything in the beam and g universe is in america we do have some hood latch couplers but we're gonna have to do a lot of fiddling to get that to fit let's grab our hood and start by putting our hood here then what do we get Perfect. Let's go ahead and show you how this opens at the moment to show you just how not great this is. Open you up. <laughs> you you kind of see the issue there? And it also, like, it does clip, so that is not great. I reckon I could work with that. But no, I do want it to lift forwards like a normal hood should. So we're going to have to change where our pivot nodes are. And in fact, this is going to take so long that I think I'm going to have to pause the recording or I'm going to, like, fill out terabytes of hard drive space as I fiddle and finagle through all of this. Uh. All right, I gave up. What we have at the moment is a forward opening hood, but it opens a little bit better. So if we click on the hood release there and then click here, 
it is going to open that way. I just, I can't, I give up. That is all we're going to do. And we're going to have the hood latch go there. And it comes back down and closes. I looked at doing that the other way around. And unfortunately, we don't have collisions here quite yet. But this is such a pain in the butt to get set up. I might create a little bit of a collision mesh. But for the time being, this has really not much there at all to cause collisions. And unfortunately, if we just click that, it doesn't go with it. Because detaching this, there is so much like structural annoyance here that I can't really bring this with it. It's it's really uh. so we're gonna probably at some point make more nodes and bring them down for the fenders. But for now, it's just that's just that the way it has to work. Next, we're gonna move on with these doors, and the doors should fit in a lot tighter. I don't know why they're not lining up. Also, this back end here should also be lining up. That's a bit weird. And same with the front windshield. Let's try removing the backlight and windshield. Does that change anything? Okay, so that changes it. For some reason, only the front windshield has saved its edits, but not the back end. Did I? Oh, I didn't narrow them in at all. That's my bad. Then if we hit Control R, that should change the doors on both sides. Good. The only problem is, is yeah, that's a thing. It like it looks. Correct? Hold on, I think my OBJ may be wrong. Yeah, when I exported the thing that brings it into the node editor, I forgot to select only. So now let's go and re-import that. Yeah, I don't think it's changed anything. What happens if we scale in? Oh, look at that, it actually lines up a lot better now. Perfect, I was wondering why this wasn't lining up. It's because it was going by the normal pigeon body. I'd hidden it here, but trust me, it was still there and even this is further back than what it needed to be. Phew. Bullet dodged. <sighs> so I went in and edited a whole bunch of things, of which I probably shouldn't have needed to edit in the first place, but for some reason the node beam editor is the only option that we have if we want to do things visually. So I ended up doing it by hand. And no, it is definitely not perfect. But uh, I, there's not a whole lot more I can do here. Like. Uh, aside from touching every single thing individually, this is about, oh, why are these nodes out now? Oh my god. Oh, there's a lot of things. Let's get rid of this bed. We're not actually going to be using the bed, me don't think. And at some point we may try to stick like the fifth wheel on there. Now just to do interior bits. Oh god, this one's going to be a pain in the butt. I just know it. God, look at all of these props in here. No. Ugh. I think I have a bit of an idea. So let's first start by grabbing the interior. Is that where the dash is? Probably. Then we should go through and change all the slots and slot types to make sure that this fits only the parts we want. Then just to make sure interior dashboard is going to get its name changed. Shifter is going to change. And so with the seats, all we got to do now is just match Every dial up. Wait, I have a better idea. Hold on. Let's go into the semi interior and just grab the prop section from there. Oh, there's a lot of weird things going on here. But there should be a props. Why is there not a prop section? No, but there is a semi day gab. Maybe they've put it in here for some reason, unlike everything else. Yep, there we go. These are all the things we want. Except I just realized that these have like different. Values. Damn it. All right. Well, let's put you there. And I think we'll replace all of this with this instead. What are the chances this works first try? Oh my goodness. It is pretty darn close to working. But let's do this as opposed to having to edit everything. Oh, would you look at that? No, it does work. Nice, except it only goes up to 3,000 RPM, but who cares? And driving around, if we had a gearbox, good, okay, yay! Uh, wait, hold on, yep, there we go. <laughs> I see nothing wrong with this. This is not stupid whatsoever. I don't know why the seats are back. I thought I took them out, but whatever. Let's grab some node offset and put it into the seat section. Then refreshing does get the seats pretty darn close. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, what do we do next? Um. Ooh. 
Uh, front windshield. Luckily, we've already been working on- Oh my god, there's four windshields, isn't there? Let me guess. So there's windshield, yep, windshield, windshield, yep, there's- And then there's also these. Great, thank you. I, I love it. But it shouldn't be too much work. And would you look at that? Hey presto, our windshield is not in. Ah, it's because I don't have it selected by default. Good, except not good. What? Why did- oh, wait. No? No, the- oh, you know what it is? I didn't change this over here. But with a quick refresh, it's all working. Why is it not working? Only one half is working, and it's not even- wait, I can- nope, there is actually a line there. It's just not working right. And then this one is kind of busted out. What? Why? Alright, you know what, let's do this. Uh, interior... So that's not the interior, so grab you, and that interior, join those together, then unhide the two windshields, get those to join together, so now we should have both left and left interior. So now we can get rid of the right sides, oh okay, I see that I had typos. And this time it all works hunky dory, good! Okay, uh, what, why? I know why. It's because of the frickin' UV maps. God damn it! Why does it have to be UV maps for everything? And this time around, when it updates, would you look at that? Everything's working hunky-dory, except for the fact that the windshield wants to pop out. But then again, so do my veins in my forehead, because this is really starting to annoy me. And why is this all clipping through? God damn it. And then doors open. K kind of. And, and close. Ugh. Whatever. Next, let's maybe start looking at the front bumper. This is a very wonky grill and not entirely sure why that is. Eh, whatever, it'll be fine. Let's look at a bumper. First, let's see what sort of bumpers we have. Front bumper. We have a square tube front bumper. Oh, okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so it's under Pigeon Gambler. Then under here we have a bunch of... Gambler bumper, ah, oh, we don't need. Oh god, there's a lot of things in here. And put the name in place. Does refreshing now fix that? It does fix that. And does oh no, okay. Well, what happens if we slow this way down, then unpause? Something happens. Oh whoa whoa. Okay, it is not a happy camper. Let's try moving everything forward slightly. So let's add like. Five mil to everything being forwards. This is <laughs> this starting to become a real mess. So let's uh, refresh these other ones. Refresh you, refresh you, and then back to our normal semi and try to unpause. And oh god, really? I hate you. Wait, there is still multiple. Wait, oh, the bumper is from. The, ah, uh, I'm an idiot. Because there's a bumper on the frame and not on the body. I'm so dumb. How did I make that stupid mistake? But at least now we have a bumper here and not on the frame. And there is only one frame to choose from and I don't want to make a separate frame for this. People would probably just have to remember that. What we're looking for now, ah, oh, headlights. I think we're pretty actually close to being, what the hell is that? That is the handbrake. Okay. Interesting. Um, sure. Oh yeah, the shifter and handbrake and everything. <sighs> Close. Perfect. Okay, yep, good. Handbrake, Dunskies. Is that basically everything we need for just the body? I think it is- oh, headlights. All of the props should be pretty darn close to where they need to be. What we need to do now is change the glass and the normal headlight part. Which luckily, we have a very similar setup here. That looks to be the glass and then... Nope, there's there's more than just one head... There's three headlight bits. And then they're not symmetric... Like, what the uh, half of this is divided into two. And then uh, the frame entirely is a part of... The, uh, after, like, a lot of faffing about, we should now... Oh! Headlights just kind of went in, nice, except nothing is lined up right. And also, weird, where's the frame? Could have sworn that I got this to all be one, th oh, you know what, I haven't exported it. Now we'll see the frame, but then everything's not aligned. Why are things out of whack and 
What is up with that color? Quick little refresh gets that to be lined up. So this side is perfectly lined up. Nothing wrong here, I mean, apart from the fact that it's jiggling for no reason. This side, however, has all of the stuff, but it's... It's out of whack? I don't understand why. Why am I getting this to me? I think we're pretty much done, though, apart from the fact that this is all wacko. Like, why? If we... Okay, so we're paused. Let's speed... Uh, so, so slow things down. Unpause. We're at a thousand times slower. Something just... It just dislodges? But why doesn't that side... Oh, I know what happened. Yeah, I kept this on body when it should have been moved to hood. And refresh, and what do you know it? It's working perfectly. I, I'm so dumb. Alrighty. Is that it? That's basically it. There's only... The pedals? What? Why are there pedals here when we've got pedals here? What? Oh yeah, the props are in here as opposed to in the right place. So we had double upper props, and this is still shaking like crazy, and I don't get why. The doors door opens fantastically. Door close closes fantastically too. Closes fant. Oh god damn it! Refresh. Look at that! It's closed. Yay! We have ourselves a mini T series. I really, really want to put this on, and this is not just straightforward as well. That's Tricky. Getting the height is going to be a problem. Oh, you know what? Actually, it's not going to work at all. I just realized that, like, the distance from the cab back is going to be really wrong. Yeah. I don't think... <laughs> I, even if I try to extend the cab, it's going to look completely stupid trying to get that to line up. Yeah. But, you know what? <laughs> I love the fact that I have a little mini T-series. That's awesome. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. I wonder, what if we were to do something silly, like delete those vertices? Hmm, could we make a three-wheeled version of this? I honestly don't think it's going to work. Yeah, just, we just, we, just, yeah, no, it's, uh, not good enough. Maybe this is why I didn't want to make the, <laughs> the front such do that, because we got the body cutaway unlike this pigeon over here, where the body goes all the way down. Let's actually put those side by side. You can see that the doors are much shorter on this, and there's steps instead, so this doesn't, yeah, but, but, you know, I'll leave it there as an option for people. For normal people, though, we're gonna go with the regular herd, and, uh, just probably a normal sort of front suspension. That it suits the vehicle just a smidgen bit better. What about a bed, though? Now that we know that we're not really gonna fit what we want in there as a trike. Are we instead going to be able to fit a bed? No. No, this bed does not fit. There's also this. And I don't know what, uh, you know what it is? It'll be some sort of like extra bit of code to do with dash stuff. We can figure that out in a bit. For now, I just kind of want to have a bit of fun with it. And I think one of the more fun things we can do with something so funky is to do a little bit of a photo shoot. Now, if I just take pictures side by side, people are gonna know what it is, and I wanna be a little bit sneakier than that, and I wanna put it on my Twitter. So let's now just zoom in a lot and see how much we could trick people with this. So if I put that there, and now <laughs> let's see how many people are gonna be fooled. Nice, easy little snip tool. Go into Twitter, the lovely toxic place, and write in here something along the lines of doing a convoy episode. And let's see if anybody picks up on the fact that this is miniature. Probably not. We'll probably only get like 20 people seeing it and like three or four people liking it. I, I very much doubt that they're going to notice that this is a little out of place here. Like, I've I've done a pretty good job of hiding that. Oh no, I just... I just opened the pigeon. Oh my god. No, why would you do that? You've ruined the surprise! God damn it, Mouye! Alright, well, let's do convoy then. I, I had this whole... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> 
<laughs> get a reaction. No, it's fine. So I had this whole spiel about how I was going to blame you for the association that we have between each other, that now everybody always asks me constantly, all the time, hey, do this with a pigeon or do that with a pigeon. I'm like, I don't care about the pigeon. That's a milieu thing. So <laughs> I created a monster. I, I gave in and I made this. <laughs> All right, I'm driving there. So, uh, you just brought out the, the default one? Well, this yep. is my new pigeon. What do you think? E-series remaster? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually, good. it has working doors. It has working doors. Really? Yep. That something fell off. I mean, shh. And then also a working hood, because that's how truck hoods work. Something fell off again. <laughs> shh. Nobody, nobody's meant to know that. I, d I don't know what it is. Something keeps breaking when I lift up the hood. But I mean, it, it works again. and everything. Reset it and try again. Uh, all right. Well, like I, I've looked and I've looked and I just can't tell exactly what it is that breaks off, but something does. Open the door. <laughs> Open the door. All right. Let's have a look yeah. at the door. Yeah, nothing fell this time. Only from the hood. Oh, no, it fell from the all other right. side. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Things just are randomly breaking it. But yeah, there we go. This is my version of the remastered T-Series that everyone's been asking for. It looks amazing, man. So let me just quickly show you. The problem is the front suspension, if you go to the single, it's actually still got the fender sort of stuff that you would have in the normal vehicle. So, oh, wait, no, maybe I disabled it. Oh, wait, no, no, hold on. That's right. Now I remember. This is all yesterday. Like, this is the day after for people watching the video. This is what it looks like as a trike. So it doesn't really work. The only thing it's missing, though, the only thing this thing is missing is the actual engine from a T-Series. Oh, don't. No. Editor, don't put that in. Please, no. <laughs> I'm going to get so many more questions from people. Hey, why do you go to port the T-Series diesel in? Oh, God. I was about to say, it doesn't run over. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the, the... Does it actually have more fuel? Uh, no. No, it doesn't. Oh... Uh... Unplayable. Anyway, Amelia, thank you for joining me. Uh, this is basically the end of the video now. Uh, I suppose I could show people what happened to Twitter. What happened to Twitter? Uh, 45 views and only 7 likes, but nobody cottoned onto the fact that that is not a real T-series in my Twitter post. When I saw the tweet, I was like, oh, okay, what is he doing? I didn't, <laughs> like, it looked, even when I first spawned in the server and I flew over to you, I couldn't notice. <laughs> You, oh, so you, you saw it and it, was, uh, it didn't trigger to you that there was anything up? Good. That's yeah, exactly I like, what I was doing. <laughs> anyway, for now though, guys, that is the end of the episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Subscribe if you have liked it. But I would like to thank my channel members, and that specifically includes the Rogue Tick, the Crayon Priest, for being a top-tier channel member. For the rest of you, though, I'll catch you all next time. Goodbye. So one, one more pigeon. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs>